Hi, uh, my name is Mike, and uh, my story is that I've had actually both knees done with very different procedures. In 97, I had a motorcycle accident, and which required uh, the replacement of my ACL and my left knee, which was done by a patella tendon harvest. And uh, uh, five years later, I had a different procedure on my right knee uh, from a different injury, which was the Z-leg replacement of my uh, ACL. Uh, two very different procedures, uh, uh, quite a bit different in the, both the surgery and the recovery, uh, and then a lot of commonalities that I learned between both. In the patella harvest, uh, quite frankly, the, uh, the procedure of harvesting uh, the tendon was uh, maybe even worse uh, than the surgery itself. Uh, the Z-leg and contrast on my right knee uh, was uh, in and out. Uh, I mean, it was uh, almost no downtime, uh, no recovery, but I can tell you between the two, obviously, uh, rest, sleep, elevation, uh, uh, very important. Physical therapy in both was key uh, completely to, to my recovery in both. Uh, but it's night and day between the two procedures. Having the harvest, uh, again, not only do you have the original uh, injury, uh, but recovering from the harvesting of the tendon, uh, I found, uh, in contrast to what uh, I did on my right knee, or had done on my right knee with the Z-leg, uh, night and day. Uh, I would never ever uh, have the Z-leg, or excuse me, I would never have uh, a patella harvest again given the option. I would always go with some option to replace the ACL uh, because of the recovery, and uh, again, uh, having the ability to manage the pain much more easily uh, a lot less trauma involved in the surgery and the recovery. Um, the only thing that you, uh, uh, with, with that I found was that it's easy to do too much too soon. Uh, in the patella tendon, I knew for a long time I'd had surgery and an injury. Uh, and uh, the physical therapy, the pain, scarring, and everything was there for a long time to remind you. The Z-leg, in and out, uh, I was up and walking in no time and had uh, little to no pain, uh, but uh, you, you have to limit yourself there as well and let your body heal. Uh, but uh, night and day, uh, the Z-Lig was uh, the only option for me, and if I had, any, had to do it over again, uh, I wouldn't even think about it. Great. Um, Anything I didn't cover? Or anything? Uh, we talk about a little bit what you're doing now, what kind of sports you like to do. and. Okay. Um, and did you have the rehab? Um, uh, if you can go, go into a little more depth about the rehab, would be helpful, I think. Okay, great. Uh, prior to my first injury in '97, I played uh, 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 league adult softball and basketball. Uh, after the injury, or prior to the surgery, uh, could not perform either, obviously. Uh, after I had the surgery done and after I had a very complete uh, physical therapy process over a matter of months, then I was able to return to light duty. Um, uh, and playing basketball and softball. Uh, with my, uh, I'm sorry, I forgot what else you wanted me to cover. Uh, just a little bit of rehab. Um, okay. Yeah. Um, the rehab for my first knee, uh, I, I did a great deal of that almost entirely here at the Stone Clinic, uh, which I have found with my experiences at a, other, uh, uh, other physical therapy institutions was uh, very rigorous, very aggressive, and uh, all, although not always pleasant, uh, the results became much quicker uh, and saw a lot more productivity in that process. So while it's not always easy, uh, I can say from experience now that uh, it, is, uh, it is probably the best path to go uh, for full and strength uh, recovery and uh, the ability to do the things that I did before. So. Uh, while the, the surgery and the recovery was very traumatic, I found that I was actually stronger in many cases uh, than prior to my surgery after the physical therapy regimen. Uh, with my second uh, surgery, I had relocated, no longer lived close uh, to the Stone Clinic, so I used another vendor, uh, or another physical therapy provider. Uh, the regimen was quite good, uh, not as rigorous, not as productive. Uh, but again, uh, the recovery from my z -leg surgery was, was uh, not anything close to what I had had before. So I didn't require uh, the recovery from the atrophy that I had experienced with the first knee. Uh, didn't have to manage around the pain. I was uh, able to do things that I could do uh, prior to the injury and the surgery much quicker uh, afterwards. 
uh, and again, like I mentioned before, uh, maybe even too soon. Uh, I should have been probably uh, much more mindful that I had just had knee surgery, uh, but uh, given the lack of pain and the lack of limitation and the lack of atrophy that I'd had going through the Z-Lig process, uh, it's easy to forget that I had surgery. And uh, to this point, uh, where I am now uh, nine years out from my Z-Lig uh, uh, procedure, uh, if you didn't tell me, I wouldn't know I'd had any surgery on my knee. It's just like brand new. I have no limitations whatsoever. And I, I credit that not only to, from the Z-Lig process, but the importance uh, of managing myself and my, uh, my care uh, through the guidance of my doctor and the importance of physical therapy, uh, rest, pain management, uh, and uh, yeah. I ran out of words. <laughs> that, that's pretty much my message. That was perfect.